Welcome to another edition of Conversations with Eric Williams, independent candidate for U.S. Congress, District 30, Dallas, Texas. Joining me today are residents of Sand Branch, Texas, just 11 minutes from downtown Dallas. It was formed as a freedman slave town in 1878. Sand Branch has been without running water for decades. In addition to lacking clean water, Sand Branch has no street lights or waste disposal services and is also in a food desert. Sand Branch is predominantly black and the community has an average income of $721 a month. It's often been called the poorest county in Dallas. It's been 155 years since Major General Gordon Granger came to Galveston, Texas to inform enslaved black people that President Abraham Lincoln had abolished slavery two and a half years earlier in secession states by signing the Emancipation Proclamation on June 19th. It is estimated the cost of water system treatment would be a steep 6.5 million. But residents say Congresswoman Johnson has failed them once again promising water in 2018, but never happened. This is environmental racism and injustice. And for all the years Congresswoman Johnson has sat in that seat and has not delivered any water to the people of Sand Branch. The federal government's role is to regulate policies pertaining to water quality and access to sources of water. Congresswoman Johnson sits on the Water Resource Subcommittee for U.S. Congress, which serves as the Oversight Committee, but has failed the people in her own district. Should I be elected in November? I will propose that an atmospheric water generator system be installed in Sand Branch to use solar technology to bring clean drinking water to people in Sand Branch at no cost by extracting water right from the air and in this systematic racism. Black lives matter. We need to know why they have gone so long without clean drinking water which is a violation of the 1974 Clean Drinking Water Act and a violation of human rights.